one time every 60 keyframes. So that is whatever you say, say it's five or so. We're going to go with uh, five. It should be five, isn't it? And we'll just say it's five, okay? Every 60 keyframes. I'm a little late to be doing my math. <laughs> um, here we go. Okay, so basically this will rotate once every 60 frames if I did it right. Pre yeah, pretty close, pretty close, pretty close. I think I got it right. Three, it's almost all the way around. It's at keyframe 60, yep. So every 60 frames, just make sure this thing rotates one time. So just do your math on it, uh, depending on how long your timeline is. This way, it'll ripple your out, or it'll make your outline nice and wavy, and uh, you know that's on your main. Uh, that's on your main outline. You're gonna have to pre-comp this. Okay, this all has to be pre-comped so you can bring it back over into your your final uh, comp with the background and everything. And as you can see. Let me try to get, I mean, look at the displacement the CC Vector Blur creates. I'm going to turn that off just so you can see it. See, it just makes it, it gives it a really gaseous, gaseous type look when you do that. You know, in between and everything. So I, I find CC Vector Blur is great if you use it before the Echo. I use it on pretty much all my, uh, all my trails just because it just, it just gives such a much better look. And of course, that turbulent displace, I mean, to make the trail come alive, rather, I mean, you have to use it, because if you don't, it's not going to, it makes it almost stationary, like you have stationary lines following the guy. But when you use that turbulent displace, it makes the trail move. It makes it look like it's flowing and moving. And that, you need that. You don't want to, you know, just lines following the guy. You want to get it flowing. So you got to use that turbulent displace. I mean, already you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but you can already tell it's got sort of a gaseous look to it. So you you really need to, uh, you know, include those in all your trails and everything. Just leaves for a much better look. And, uh, you know, what I, also, what I also did on this is after I made, after I set this one for my displacement layer, because, you know, you pre-comped everything in this one. You bring it over, and this is your pre-comp now with no, no effects added to it. Now you can use that as your displacement for the background, which is my grunge map. This is the displacement. I set it to minus 20, minus 20, you know, somewhere around there, wherever, whatever looks good. And, uh, you know, you can go crazy on it, whatever you need to set it for. And, I mean, it just gives a cool look to it. But, um, anyways, for your outline, which is this one here, you can go ahead and uh, add a couple layers to that. Just duplicate the add layer. You know, if you're going to go with an add, just duplicate it and add a couple until you get the brightness that you want. Um, you know, if you left it normal, it may not look so great. But you can do a normal and an add to it. You know, I, I really like to play around with those rather than uh, just leave it. You know, every depending on your colors, you're going to have to toy with those. But, you know, here's, here's just normal. Here's the add and the normal together. Okay, we'll switch to add, add, and then you get more of a brighter one. So, and you can even add more to it. Just keep adding more until, you know, it looks right. Kind of like the normal one, the normal and the add one. Okay, so, you know, that's just, just a few tips that I do with all my run trails. I mean, that CC Vector Blur is awesome, though, when it comes to uh, an outline. I think that's probably what they use on some of their, uh, on the Season 7 run trails, because that that twisty blur that I was talking about before looks like it's in a lot of the run trails that they did in, uh, in the Season 7. Season 8 sucks. They ain't doing really any good effects. I mean, it's all like generic effects, like they're doing it on some little laptop, and, you know, they're just adding these outlines to it. They're really... Uh, they're supposedly on a budget or something this uh, season, so season eight is not going to have very good good effects in all their episodes. And you'll notice it's all simple stuff, like the ear. He always does the super hearing. He does a quick red blur for his run most of the time, and sometimes he'll do an outline. But the outline's really cheesy looking. It look, you know, it's a standard outline with some glow to it. It's not all, all liquidy and gaseous like they used to do. So they're doing it totally different this season, just because they're on a low budget. Alright, um, let me pause it again and see if I can think of anything else. I'm just trying to think of anything that might help you.